road. There's something for everyone in Missouri if sports is your thing. Our first stop on our sports tour, right in the heart of downtown St. Louis, the iconic Bush Stadium. Did you know you can take a behind the scenes tour here? The tours are open year round. Only time we're closed are Christmas Day, Christmas Eve, and New Year's Day. The first stop on the tour is this great overlook for a photo op. Look right here and smile. Pretty. People come from all over to take this tour, including Phyllis from Colorado, who's on a mission to visit every MLB stadium. We're gonna try to get to all 30 and so when Arenado moved here, we knew that this was our first stadium this year to get to. After learning a bit about the stadium, it was up the escalator to the Champions Club. Starting over here to my right, this is the 1967 World Series trophy. All the Cardinals World Series trophies are on display. Next up, the Redbird Roost. One in. Where the owners and their guests can watch the game. This is just terrific, the view as you can see it. And then a stop at the final game scoreboard from Bush Stadium 2. Back in 1949. On any given tour, you never know who you might see. That's John Mozeliak, president of baseball operations. Our last stop. We're gonna go on to the field area here. The coveted green seats, right behind home plate. On the way out, don't forget to pick up your photo. Just a few steps from Bush Stadium, you'll find Ballpark Village. Whether you're looking for food, drink, shopping, entertainment, you will find it all here. The energy and excitement at Ballpark Village just draws you right in. We have over a dozen nightclubs, restaurants, bars, and entertainment venues. Together Plaza is in the center of it all. There's a huge screen to watch the game. Lots of seating, plus games to play, like cornhole or giant Jenga. And on this beautiful afternoon, it was hopping. Valley Sports Live features a 40-foot screen, one of the largest in the Midwest. You'll find food, fun, and drink. It's awesome. I mean, there's a lot of sporting events that you can follow while you're sitting here. The atmosphere is great. You can even stay at Ballpark Village at this new luxury hotel. Live by Lowe's is a beautiful hotel here on the property. 216 rooms, great integration of Cardinals history and Cardinals memorabilia. In their whiskey room, you'll find trunks from the 20s and 30s that the team used for travel. The Cardinals Hall of Fame walk starts at the large Commissioner's Trophy replica. It continues along the path to the big STL, a popular spot for photos. <laughs> Sports and Social is a Tex-Mex inspired restaurant. Seating extends into the outdoor plaza. Make sure to check out the mini bowling while you're here. For St. Louis style barbecue, head over to Salt and Smoke. Our next stop is definitely one you diehard Cards fans must check out. This is the ultimate repository and really the place for all history for the St. Louis Cardinals. The St. Louis Cardinals Hall of Fame Museum is a journey through the team's history. You start at the very beginning of the franchise from the 1880s forward. Did you know the team at one time was called the St. Louis Browns and also the Perfectos? There are fans that want to see items from Whitey Ball, those great 80s championship eras. And then of course you've got the fans that remember seeing Stan Musial play and they want to see those cherished pieces or memories from Stan's career. The museum is currently featuring a special exhibit celebrating the 2011 World Championship team. Everybody remembers game six, That's right? right? And That's this right. is the jersey. It is the jersey. The David Friedman You look wearing. like you're bowing oh, down you really? there. Yeah, absolutely. So it was literally ripped off of his back. And this is the ball from that game-winning home run. This is our championship gallery. We celebrate all of the Cardinals World Series championships in here. There's one case for each of the 11 World Series championships. Make sure to hold some history while you're here. A lot of fans will come in and they'll ask if they can hold a particular player's bat. These are all game-used bats by Cardinal greats like Lou Brock and Ozzie Smith. This is Stan the Man's. He used to shave down the handles for his own liking. Really? Put the bat closer to your shoulder. After a little coaching, I got into my best Stan Musial hitting pose for a photo. Next on our sports tour, we head over to Forest Park. 
to visit what's been called the best city golf course in mid-America. What's special about playing at Forest Park is just the unique setting in itself. I mean, we are located in St. Louis's and maybe one of the country's most renowned public parks. The original nine at the Forest Park Golf Course opened in 1912. In 2002, we came back in, renovated the entire facility. All 27 holes have the same par, generally the same distance. Now you're able to play any one of the three nines that we have here. Anyone can play here, any age, any skill level. We are a fully public facility, so we are a daily fee. There's no membership requirements. Even the more seasoned golfers will find a fun challenge. We have a sister property in the park, the Highlands Golf and Tennis Center. They have a driving range, which is the only driving range actually located in the city of St. Louis. No reservations are required, you just show up. There's also another nine hole golf course here. It's a great place for a beginner to come out and learn the game of golf. So we want to make sure that during their time here on the property that they are enjoying themselves to the fullest, that there's good food, good drink, and good times. For more good times, there's a fish right there. Try a fishing trip on the Mississippi River. Well, we uh, always heard this was a good, good chance to catch some big fish, so we wanted to come out here and get the blue cats. Here we are. That's a good fish. No experiences needed. Your captain will guide you. I'll keep you in line. My head's on a swivel out here. I'm watching all my rods, making sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing to catch these fish. There you go. These fish can be huge, up to 90 pounds or more. Big fish are a rarity. We do catch them, obviously. But your average fish out here is about 15 pounds or so, which are a blast to catch. I mean, they're, they're fun. They put up a pretty good fight. Be a good 40, 40 pound fish right there. Today's trip was a birthday celebration. What do you think of that, Brett? I think it's good. Happy Get birthday. Your pictures. Happy birthday. Thank you. And then that big fish goes right back in the water. We're mainly catching our leaves. We do this for sport. Anything over 10 pounds is going to go right back in the water. That creates a healthy fishery. We've done real good so far. My son's caught, uh, I think, a 43 pounder and a 30 pounder, and my friend's caught a 36 pounder. And I've caught a 13 pounder. So I'm winning so far, isn't that how it works? There's always something to do in the show me state for the sports lover. Whether you're out on the links, catching the game, learning more about your favorite team, or just spending the day fishing. All across Missouri, for Watch Your MO, I'm Kristen Cornett.